What is up Beach Bumps? Welcome back to the beach. Today we are looking for Pompano. It's, it's almost a secondary to me. It's just it, the conditions just look too good to not throw some rods out for Pompano, which we're pretty much just going to be using sam uh, sample fish bites for them. I did rake a couple sand fleas, but I think we're just going to stick with the fish bites for now. But I really would like to actually catch a slot redfish or a puppy drum, which is a black drum, just a smaller black drum to eat. I'm going to be using just pieces of uh, small cut up shrimp and we're going to be fishing real close. We've been catching a few, but the water <laughs> has actually been dirtier than this. Uh, this will be the first time you ever hear me complain about the water being too clean. And it's, it's not like crystal clear, but it's, it's pretty, pretty clean water. And uh, we've been catching those black drum and a little bit dirtier water so i would like to actually see it a little dirtier today but that's okay we're gonna still try and see if we can get a black drum or redfish up close on just a little piece of shrimp i'll show you how i got that rigged up it is a beautiful day man i mean like gorgeous skies good calm water today good green tint just a beautiful beach day for my up close whiting rigs it's basically a pompano rig. I generally always tie them as a single drop and I tie it closer to the bottom and usually just with a bead. This is 15 pound monofilament and I've got a size two circle hook and this is the owner Mutu light circle hook and I just rig on just a tiny piece of shrimp just to cover that hook. I do peel it and I just throw this out really close, not far at all. And these are all my steelhead rods that I've got with 2000 size pin battle two reels. So real light setup, nothing, uh, nothing heavy at all about these rigs, which are, are great for catching whiting, great for catching fish up close, your redfish, your puppy drum. Really fun way to fish, really enjoy using the lighter tackle. When, when I can get by with it. And right now I've got just a one ounce pyramid sinker. Something's going on on here. Ugh. There he is. Oh, 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 something's going on here. <laughs> oh, double hook up. That might be a ray on the end down there. Kind of acting weird. Woo! This thing's fighting. What do we got? Big whiting yes look at this guy Woo! i'll take that that's good to see oh gosh i'd cut the camera off but our uh our ray fortunately just popped loose didn't break the line just hook pulled which is perfect that's what we want that was a uh, big cow nose Let's check out our big whiting. Oh yeah. That's a good juicy one right there. Let's get a length on this one. Probably female. They are in their spawn right now. This one is right at 14. 14 on the nose right there. Nice. Solid fish. Our whiting are spawning right now. This is our Gulf Kingfish. But really helpful, I've been moving my baits around up close even, you know, zone awareness, trying to find where fish are running. This is a good clue because these guys and those puppy drum and slot redfish tend to hang out in the same depths. So I'm going to focus my efforts where I caught this guy and see if we can get some more of these because these are stellar when you get 14 plus inch whiting. Might be able to bust a new PB because right now I've only got a, a 15 and a half personally. And we've been catching multiple over 16 on trips recently, so that would be sweet. But we're gonna get this guy back in the cooler and uh, see if we can hook up on one of them black drum or redfish. I love how a big whiting hits 
That's not where I want it. I love how big whiting hits these steelhead rods. I mean, it is so just exciting to see them hammer on it. Oh! Blue Angels! Woo! America! America! Man, that just gets you pumped up. Hooked into a fish. Blue Angels coming by. All right, this is a big lady fish, looks like. Big fat lady. Lady fish are fun to catch, but they hit almost identical to Pompano. So it always tricks you. You think you might have a pump, but it ends up being one of these. See you, dude. But what better way to be fishing and Got the blue angels buzzing by, hooked up to a fish. My goodness. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, 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 I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. But uh, I'm, I'm very encouraged by whatever this fish may be. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Where are you at? Oh, no. Freaking huge whining, man. Oh, this could do it. This could do it. Oh man, this thing's freaking heavy. I can't even get him out of the waves. Oh man. Oh gosh, it's so big. Gosh. This might be the new PB. This might freaking do it, man. This fish may be two freaking pounds. I mean, it is full of row. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this joker. Oh gosh, come on, okay. You are angry. You are angry. Look at it, it is over six, it is touching 16. We're gonna double check. This is a new PB, new PB. And even the weight on this thing is much bigger than the one I caught. He is right on 16, looky there. Right on it, nose all the way to the front on both of those 16 freaking inch whiting. Yes! I do believe this is the biggest whiting you've probably ever seen on this channel. Gulf Kingfish. This is 16 inches on the nose. Beautiful fish. This would be a legal redfish in the state of Alabama. They gotta be 16 inches. This would be legal. This is the Gulf Kingfish, full of row, fat. This fish is probably still shy of two pounds, but probably very close. I mean like 1718. Amazing, amazing fish right here. I mean it felt so heavy. I wasn't sh I, like when this fish hit and I felt it, I knew that it was either gonna be my PB whiting or one of those puppy drum. Like it was one of the two. Because just heavy, heavy fish. Fought so good. New PB. We are breaking PBs this year. This is like my let's see, I got a PB black drum, PB permit. PB whiting. Seems like there was something else I broke already this year. I can't remember. It's been a great year so far. 16 inches. This is the first time I've ever personally caught a 16 inch whiting. I couldn't think of it in the moment, but it was my PB sheep's head that I also caught this year at the pier. So that's uh. That is already my fourth new personal best fish. This will be the year of PBs right here, man. Let's talk about bigger whiting for a second. Very underrated fish. And, and we target whiting, kingfish, which these are primarily the Gulf kingfish. You know, we got three species. Mentioned that before, we got Gulf kingfish, Southern kingfish, and Northern kingfish. 
Nobody can ever decide on the name of what to call these. The Southern Kingfish, people, some people call it ground mullet, uh, king croaker, kingfish, whiting. You know, nobody can decide what to, what, what to call them. But it's three species of kingfish, and the ones we've caught today are the Gulf Kingfish, and typically those do get the biggest most of the time. What I've noticed about these bigger bull whiting, you know, that we call them sometimes, they, a lot of the time, will act like trout and redfish in the surf where they are kind of kind of cruising around most of the time whiting will school up and you know you'll catch some of those big ones sometimes in those schools but a lot of the time when you're catching these these bigger whiting you know 14 15 16 17 inch whiting they'll be a lot of the times kind of cruising with you know with themselves or schools of, of those bigger bigger fish it's interesting to see on those clear water days i've just noticed those bigger whiting hanging by themselves and cruising the beach look and they look like a trout or a big redfish a lot of the time just cruising but those bigger ones can be just as tough to catch as any other species out here try to locate and and you know find those bigger bigger whiting uh, but they fight good they're just so underrated such an underrated fish and uh, we've got some some incredible whiting fishing in this area and it's a lot of fun when you use the right tackle and you approach it the right way it's hard to find a better eating fish and they're just fun to catch. To get the opportunity to come down here and do some whiting fishing and catch some of these bigger ones on light tackle, it's a blast. Oh, I, I didn't have the other camera rolling, but this, this one just, oh my gosh, just freaking hammered. I couldn't even get it out of the rod holder hardly. Oh my goodness. I love catching these big bulls. Oh, I know you, you should have been able to see the last two hit. Gosh. And they're so pretty when you get this clear water like this. Oh, <laughs> oh these are tanks, man. These are tanks. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't want to lose this fish. I don't want to lose this fish. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Another just beast whiting. Freaking amazing fish. Dang. Wow. I don't know if we just upgraded our PB or not. It looks to be about the same. This one might be a little shy of 16. I mean, it's kind of almost touching it. Let's see. It's like right on, it, it's a little bit shy of 16. I mean, just a hair, but good gracious day. I love these fish, man. They're so pretty, they fight so dang hard. And this one about put, pulled my dang rod in the water. I wasn't rolling, so you didn't get to see the hit from this, from this fish, which I hate you missed this one because, oh my gosh. Look at that tail, you can tell they're, they're spawning. You know, it's all, messed up there this has got to be the most underrated inshore species fish especially when you can catch them when they're spawning like this and a lot of the time you know because pompano is like the the star of the show especially this time of year you know everybody's kind of all in on pompano and generally these fish aren't really where in this area on the alabama gulf coast they don't generally hang in the same depths like these fish are usually a lot closer in than these pompano and so you're not generally catching them together. You kind of have to be specific in, in, in where you're fishing and how you target them. This is a great day, man. I love it. This is so cool. <laughs> These are some just monster fish. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Woo. Oh, another freaking hammer. Oh goodness. Man, if this is another whiting, oh my gosh. Good gracious. I think it's gonna be one. I was getting a catfish off. All I've been catching out deep are catfish, stingrays, and ladyfish. Another, oh, another beautiful, solid whiting right here solid gosh man they fight so good i don't know if you can see them in that clear water but 
Look at him digging. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, good gracious. This is the best day I've had for whiting. This was 15, which is freaking huge, but still not even as big as the last two. Go, 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 go with it. Got him. Oh, we got one. Up. We got we got a double up. Double up. One's over there too. Oh, this is a good fish. Oh, it's swimming fast. Woo, come on. <sighs> Two of them, man. Oh, he's fast. <laughs> oh gosh, man! Look at this. Oh man, I can't even get him out of the brakes. Gosh. We are just hammering some freaking toads today, man. All of the, I haven't caught a small whiting yet. We're about to start releasing fish. I may still have one on this other line. I don't even know. This one's skinny, but long. We're, we're probably gonna let this one go. The length on this one is 16 and about a quarter, maybe a little bit longer, but look at this fish. All right, we're gonna get this one back. Beautiful. We got plenty. Let's see, we might still have this one on, I don't know. Oh, my hands are slimy. Can't even reel. Yep, still got him. Swam all the way up to the beach. Yeah, oh, jumping. All right, this one might be the smallest of the day, and it's still a quality fish we've caught three 16 inch whiting today that's just incredible oh gosh okay man they are so hard to hang on to i mean this one may be like 13 inches which is a good fish but that's that's a dink today <laughs> today turned out to be an incredible day uh, my, my thought my plan was to catch a uh, keeper black drum like a smaller puppy drum but I, I, I couldn't be more pleased. I knew like that there was a shot that I was going to catch some good whiting along with that, just because we've been catching them out here as well, along with those puppy drum. But I, I did not expect to have this kind of a day, like because again, like I said, I've never caught one over 15 and a half, and today I caught three. Just incredible, man! Like that was so cool. I love catching those fish. Uh, it's really. I, in a lot of ways, sometimes I get more excited about coming out here and using steelhead rods and fishing up close and catching those big whiting than I do pompano. Don't tell anybody though, because it's, it's just so much fun. I really do love it. Uh, but I'll have to come out here again and try to get these uh, puppy drum. Throughout the uh, rest of the summer, we should have some more opportunities. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And as always, you stay bummy.